Walk-ons, what's going on? It's Sam Stillwood, a walk-on coach. And today, we are going to the grocery store. We are gonna shop to build muscle and gain weight. This is mainly for people like me who have high metabolism. But, you know, I shop decently healthy, so even people without a high metabolism, this some of this diet might still fit or it might still be good for you um i know some of y'all are, are in middle school high school college and y'all may not you know have as much money i didn't have any money in middle school high school or college so uh everything may not apply but you know even if you have a little bit of money you know i'm gonna break it down for you to where you know if you just have enough to get the essentials I'll let you know what to get. So when it was time for me to start cooking and making my own food, I didn't know what to do. I had to call my mom and say, what can I eat? And you know, how do I even cook it? How do I make freaking, what's the stuff though? The macaroni and beef stuff. How do I even make that? I didn't know how to cook. I didn't know how to shop. And you know what helped me out? freaking YouTube videos on how to shop like a bodybuilder. So at this time in my life, I don't count every calorie. I don't count every gram of protein. It's really not that serious for me right now. I just want to be able to grow muscle. I want to be able to eat good. And I'm a foodie, man. So I got to get my sugar in. I love desserts. So that's what you'll be seeing today. You'll see all that. So the first spot is Aldi. Pull up to the Aldi. When I go shopping, man, I just be chilling, man. I got my bedroom, my champion bedroom shoes on, and I'm gonna get to it. The first thing is when you pull up to the Aldi, make sure you got a quarter with you. If you can't get a cart without a quarter. I know y'all couldn't hear that. Said, so make sure you get a quarter. Make sure you got a quarter when you pull up to the Aldi. You gotta have a quarter to get a cart. All right, so let's get to it. I got this camera sitting on the side of my car, so this is about to be weird. I try to get all my fruits and vegetables from Aldi because uh, they got better prices. First thing I grab is strawberries for my smoothies. Smoothies and protein shake. Throw a little bit of fruit in there. I might eat a smoothie for breakfast or um, or a snack. Like right before the gym, I might make a smoothie. Happily for breakfast. So if you like to eat, you like to shop, if you're an athlete, if you woke up this morning, like and subscribe. I had to come back and grab some bagels because usually for breakfast, I just grab something real quick before I go to work. You know, I just be kind of grabbing something going out the door. So I usually grab some either cinnamon cinnamon raisin bagels. I either eat an apple or I might make a smoothie if I have a little bit of extra time. So out of those options, if you just, if you're just somebody that needs something real quick for breakfast, like me, um, I would recommend a bagel, uh, maybe an apple too. But if you're really on that bodybuilder diet, get the oatmeal. I don't need oatmeal, I have oatmeal at the house. I keep oatmeal at the house for my smoothies because I always put oats in my smoothies. Um, but that's probably the thing that I recommend. And for milk, let me show you all my favorite milk. This guy right here, Friendly Farms Oat Milk. I use that milk for everything. Smoothies, cereal, and whatever I need to cook with milk. Oat milk is my go-to, and specifically that brand because it's the best to me, so. 
I tried about three, four different brands. And of course, I always get your peanut butter. I would say that is top five essentials for you. Uh, whatever stage you're at, peanut butter is one of the top five essentials that you need. You can put it on bread, you can put it in smoothies. I do have some at the house already, so I'm good on that. Uh, and one of these days, I want to try almond butter too. If y'all had almond butter, let me know. Is it good or not? So I'm gonna grab some bananas from here that are not ripe yet. So I can have some bananas for like the end of the week. But then my, the bananas that I need for like tomorrow and the next four days, I'm gonna get those from Walmart. So I had just grabbed some lemon pepper seasoning. That's one of my go-to seasonings for my fish and chicken. Out of there. And that was only $11.66, $11.66 for all this, man. All these pretty cheap. So if, if you need, you know, some a uh, couple of things and you only have a couple of dollars, go to Aldi first. So the essentials from Aldi um, were breakfast. Um, that's either a bagel, apple, uh, oatmeal. If you're working on building muscle and gaining weight, I suggest the oatmeal or the bagel. Then I got that lemon pepper seasoning. I would say that's an essential because I'm pretty sure you want to go to, you want to get a meat. So whatever meat you get, you can use that lemon pepper seasoning. And uh, also the, the things for the smoothie, I, I would have to say the smoothie is more luxury. You know, if you're tight on money, don't worry about the smoothie. Just focus on getting your protein if you can, your protein powder. All right, so y'all probably know where I'm at now. If you can see the ceiling and the famous Walmart, man. Uh, I think I really just need to get meats in here. Get a couple of meats, because once again, I do have some groceries at the house. Uh, I'll get a couple of meats. Uh, maybe some Gatorade, not Gatorade, but uh, I like body armor. Uh, if y'all like body armor, drop it in the comments. What, what's the best, Gatorade or body armor? Oh, I gotta get the, the right bananas, right? For my smoothies and sometimes I just eat a banana right before the gym, so. I can work with just four for now. That's been four days until the other bananas get right. So I got a good amount of vegetables at the house too. I usually grab some zucchini, some squash, some spinach. I might grab some of that today um, if I walk by it, but I don't really need too many veggies. I think I'm pretty stocked up on that. Pulling up next to this the meats and the chicken. I might grab some uh, ground turkey so I can make spaghetti one of these days. Uh, yeah, let me grab one. So I end up grabbing some, uh, oh, this bag is, see this bag? This thing is open already, I'm glad I, I'm talking about it, I wouldn't even notice that, but I grabbed some sweet Italian sausage. I'll eat that with one meal, probably make two packs with that one meal. And then I grabbed some uh, some lean ground turkey with some spaghetti on these days. So what's crazy is most bodybuilders, they'll tell you to uh, get the, the chicken breast. And I usually do that too, but you know, I really like chicken thighs too though. Mm. You don't have to take it home, do the, all that cutting. This you can just clean it off and it's ready to cook and eat. So I would say that if you had to pick one meat out of what I just picked, I would recommend getting the chicken. Um, but if you're tired of chicken, Try the ground turkey or try the, the uh, sweet Italian turkey sausage. 
going right past the eggs. Um, because I already have eggs. I'm going right past most of the vegetables because, like I said, I already have vegetables. I might grab some extra broccoli or something just in case, but I think I'm good on it. See, y'all know what's crazy is that I really don't like broccoli like that unless it has, like, cheese or something on it. Or um, I like it when it's seasoned with soy sauce. Any other time I make broccoli, if it's not seasoned with soy sauce or with cheese, it's always plain to me, man. I don't know if I'm just doing something wrong, but it's just usually plain for me. So I am pulling up on a non-essential. This is a non-essential, but on the days I don't feel like cooking, it might be a weekend or something. I just need something quick that I can throw in the oven. I like to throw a country fried steak on some bread and throw some hot sauce on it. So these are one of my favorite snacks at work. The rich peanut butter crackers. It really don't matter the brand, but just peanut butter crackers in general. When I'm at work and I need something sweet after my lunch, rich peanut butter crackers. So I am on the cereal aisle, and this is probably the aisle that I take the longest on anytime I go shopping and need cereal. Uh, my favorite cereals are Crunch Berries, Captain Crunch Crunch Berries, Honeycomb, Golden Grams. Oh, what else? What else? I like Pops, but sometimes I can't eat Pops all the time. They get soggy too quick. And what else? I like Fruit Loops, but that's not that's not in the top three. Uh, so yeah, those, I, I would say those are my top three. But um, I don't need cereal right now, so I'm not gonna get it. But I love cereal. But I would say it's not an essential, especially if you're not a sweets person. Don't even worry about the cereal. You. I don't eat it for breakfast. It's only for like midnight snack or something like that. All right, I am pulling up on an essential. And that essential is rice. And specifically jasmine rice. So if you grab that chicken, um, and that's mainly what you're eating throughout the week, uh, I would also grab some jasmine rice. I like, you know, either the jasmine or the basmati rice. Um, those are the two go-to. Question, did y'all like the video yet? I'm out here getting out of my comfort zone, recording in public. I'm not an outgoing dude like that, but I'm doing it for y'all. So please like the video. And like I said earlier, if you grab that broccoli and you just want to season it up real quick, I would recommend getting the soy sauce. Cause you can put soy sauce on green beans and other veggies too. So time for another non-essential. But I need hot sauce. And you know what I hate? I'm in Illinois and I can't ever find Texas Pete hot sauce. I don't really like any other hot sauce except Texas Peak. But I just I just deal with the hot sauce here, the, the Louisiana, just because it's better than nothing. I keep planning on ordering Texas Peak hot sauce online, but I still haven't done it yet. So now we need bread for our peanut butter and jelly sandwiches or our peanut butter and banana sandwiches or our peanut butter and honey sandwiches. Uh, so I usually go for the 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 Sara Lee whole grain white. Uh, yeah, none of that enriched stuff. We don't mess with the enriched. Anything that has enriched on it, yeah, you should probably probably shouldn't get it. Um, but of course, you can always go with the whole grain or anything like that. It's it's up to you. So. So I'm pulling up on the protein aisle. Um, 
I need to get some more protein, but uh, I'm not going to show y'all which one I picked because if I'm putting any proteins on my channel, I need to be getting endorsed. I need to be making some bread off. But I'm here. I'm going to pick one. You're going to probably spend like 20 to $30 on protein in Walmart, which is cheaper than other places. And you can really find some good protein in here. Um, but yeah, let me pick that out and I'll be right back. So I think that's it. Uh, let's ring this up and see what the total is. It should be. Okay. Definitely should be less than less than a hundred. Uh, e even if I would have got everything that I have already too, like eggs, peanut butter, and a few other things that I already had, like some veggies, cereal. It would have not been more than $110 because that's what I usually spend. Well, really, I usually spend a total of about 100 on groceries for two weeks for me, and that's including desserts and all that. Now, if you are just needing the essentials, um, man, if you just get like a pack of chicken, rice, maybe some cereal, peanut butter crackers, maybe another meat, you could be under $40. So, um, I think that's pretty good, but let's ring it up and see. So that was $78 right there. Um, and we spent $11.82 in Aldi. So that's a total of like $89 right there, $89, $90 for two weeks of working shopping. So that's pretty good. Crazy thing is the most expensive thing in the cart is the protein. So dang, I gotta go back into Walmart because I should have got the frozen strawberries instead of the, the fresh Jones from Aldi because the fresh ones still had a little green leaves on them that I gotta cut off before I put them into my smoothie when the frozen ones already had the leaf off. So trade those in and, but that's pretty much it for the day um like i said i hope this helps y'all out this will help y'all get started when y'all need to start shopping for yourself and eating your own good food while still being a you know an athlete and growing and everything that you're doing so i appreciate y'all tuning in thank y'all for watching see you stay with walk on coach and i'll see y'all next time